Captain's log, stardate 54637.3. As we prepare for transit through the transwarp portal, I find myself conflicted. While I am eager to explore an unknown area of space filled with strange new worlds and civilizations, the fact that we are traveling to the Delta Quadrant to make war on another race is a sobering thought. Starfleet presumes that an identical structure lies somewhere in the trackless expanse of the Delta Quadrant. If so, it is imperative that we secure it to ensure that we have a means to return home. That portal is our only way back to the Alpha Quadrant. Its loss would leave us stranded a lifetime away from Earth. Gazing upon the massive structure, I cannot help but feel that we are standing in front of a great black abyss, unsure of what we might find at its bottom. Let us descend now into the blind world. Alright, Operation Let's Do the Stupidest Thing Possible in Federation History has now begun. And the first thing we're going to do is run headlong into a shed load of Borg cubes. Honestly, who the hell thought that this was a good idea? Now, I was doing some thinking actually before I started this mission. That Galaxy class ship's lost by the way, there's no way I can get that back. I was doing some thinking before on this mission and you kind of realize that the Federation advanced in technology really rapidly from Wolf 359 and it turns out most of it's Q's fault. Uh, he was obviously the first one who flung the Enterprise into the path of the first Borg ship and consequently the uh, Federation then made moves to uh, update its fairly old school fleet and because of that it was in a shape in the kind of shape necessary to not only repel the second Borg invasion Enemy but to fight engaged. the Dominion War. Uh, for example the Akira class came out of that period of time and so did the Sovereign class ship so um, thanks to the all-powerful god of the Star Trek universe. Anyway the first thing I've done in this mission is to put my ships on low movement autonomy. The reason for this is being cheeky. I'm trying to steal a book cube. That's just not going to happen. Um, Lay in a new course. Make it so. Lay in a new course. Captain, the transwarp portal is opening. On screen. USS Wellington to Enterprise. We're escorting two construction ships and have orders to develop defensive structures around the portal. Excellent. You may proceed when ready. Right, that was the main reason why I set my ships on low movement autonomy. These guys are coming through. Make it so. And the second thing is, you might Make have noticed so. there's a Borg Nexus so. really close by, and if you give your ships Before high movement autonomy, most of them will just the charge for the Nexus, and that will create all manner of problems, and you'll lose a large portion of your fleet, and that will set you back a long way. If you can keep your fleet relatively intact at the start of the mission, this gets a heck of a lot easier. Hey look, a Galaxy-class starship doing barrel rolls. That can't be too good for the, uh, for the crew. But we're going to put our star base down, and even though this looks like a bit of a weird place to put it, because obviously the Borg Proof Nexus is action. on the other side, this is Station where the majority of the Borg amazing. reinforcements are going to come from, so I want this place to be well I'm reinforced. Captain, the transwarp portal is opening. This is Captain Shabonovich on the USS Oxford. I hope we're not too late. You're just in time. Have those assault ships seize the transwarp portal. And Star Trek Armada 2 continues down the role of offensive accents. Now I'm going to pull these guys back as well. And he did mention taking the portal there, as we do have to once again take this side of the portal. However, I don't really want to do that at the moment, because in order to do that we have to attack the portal and drop its shields and it's not going to have any effect on how the mission goes. Station complete. Requesting additional personnel. 
Right, so we have the star base up and running, and you'll notice an absence of something. Yeah, we can't mine anything. Confirmed, Starfleet. The only way we can mine something at this point is... Well, I'm going to put this lightly. We have to destroy that bug that base to the left. Request. So, you thought we were getting a load of free ships. The only reason we're getting those ships is because we can't reinforce them yet. Because we don't have the facility to do so. However, this doesn't mean I can't get the basis of a Station construction commencing. base up at this point, and that's exactly what I'm going to try Station and do. Complete. I hope the initial dampeners are working on those ships that are doing barrel rolls Double at the stations. moment, otherwise the crews are going to be plastered against the wall. I'm getting rid of my steam runners and my Defiant class ships at the moment because I want the extra dilithium and metal from them and to be honest this isn't going to be a mission where I'm going to mess around with uh, steam runners to tell you the truth they're just uh, they're a bit fiddly for me to use I'm not great at using them and to be honest this is a mission where I'm going to need speed and firepower a lot more than I'm going to need to be able to artillery torpedo anything uh, it's not Station as if I have to break my way through a massive minefield or anything. Just building a second star base here. There are no planets Enemy that we're able engaged. to colonize, so we have to build star bases if we want to reinforce our crew count. Give the word. So I'm afraid we have no shipyard. option now but to repair our ships and then we're going to go gung-ho into the action. All sections report. Go to yellow alert. Station I'll get off my attack. shipyard. Mr. LaForge, reroute all auxiliary power to the engines. I do not want that shipyard destroyed. I can't afford the resources. But once we've got everything back online... Ah yes, that would be our Galaxy class ship that took an absolute beating, wouldn't it? The game has been fairly pleasant to us. There's quite a lot of ships that we've been able to uh, procure. Quite a lot of powerful Enemy ships, engaged. really. Research commencing. I think we've got some Akiras anyway. All crews report to station. I'd be embarrassed if we didn't. I've just researched the chain reaction pulsar. Station construction commencing. Let's get that advanced shipyard down as quick as we can. Oh boy, oh boy. Can't we just go back through the portal? Station complete. Requesting additional personnel. Well, not so bad when they're caught between two star bases, but come on. Yet more repairing needs doing. Status report. Oh, that's broken. <laughs> well, hopefully we won't get two more attacks like that from the Borg. That was almost... Captain, the transwarp portal is opening. Another wave of reinforcements has arrived in the sector, and with them is the USS Tolone. Thank you, Ensign. Open a channel to the new fleet. This is Captain Picard of the USS Enterprise. Welcome to the Delta Quadrant. Captain, there appears to be some type of subspace anomaly present in this system that prevents us from using our warp engines. That will slow down our search. Inform the rest of the fleet of this development, and tell engineering that we will need maximum performance out of the impulse engines. Yes, sir. Right, so let's have a quick rundown of what's happened here while I build my, uh, sorry, while I recycle the Iwo Jima class ships and various other useless crud that's been bought with me. We're in the Delta Quadrant, thousands upon thousands of light years away from the Federation. We're attacking the Borg for whatever reason we're deciding to do so. The only way to get back home is a portal which is currently under the control of the Borg and 
we're in a section of space where if we had an advantage over the Borg, which would be speed, we can't use it because we can't use our warp drives. I think that pretty much covers it, and um, if you don't mind, I'm going to go and hide under my bed for a while, because this is a terrible, terrible idea. Armed and ready. Okay, I'm back. Right. Started building up a cr fleet of intrepids to go along with my uh, Akiras, and it's time to go and try and take out that Borg base. Starship complete. This is also going to mean that I'm going to have a slightly Enemy different engaged. path on what I want to research once I get the Vulcan Research Lab. The first thing I want is Armed going to ready. obviously be the um, engine upgrades, because otherwise I'm just going nowhere. But, oh great, it's covered by turrets as well as covered by a Nexus. This just gets better and better. Oh, and as you might have seen here, I've had a few requests and I have saucer separated the Galaxy class starships. So, uh, hope you like that. Unfortunately, the star drive sections are being a bit insolent at the moment and not going for the kill. But, and my saucers are getting beaten the hell out of. That's no fun. Standing by. Ready and able. Well, Standing oh by. god. If I can take over that Nexus, this would be pretty awesome. Be able. I think if you take okay. over a Nexus, you can see everything. You can see Enemy all the Borg engaged. buildings. And well, this is embarrassing. I mean, we knew that the Star Drive section of a Galaxy Class Starship was the battle orientated part, but I didn't expect to lose all the saucer modules. Ready and able. Um, oh god, that means that all the ten forwards are gone as well. All that sorry and brandy. Oh, great. Stuck in the Delta Quadrant and can't even get drunk. Okay, who shot at that Nexus? Oh, the uh, Borg being back over to it. I was hoping to, uh, I was hoping to recover that. Wait, no. Oh. Insolent. Ready weapons. <sighs> well, I suppose if worse comes to worst, at least we've cleared the Borg out of this area. Although my Galaxy Class fleet has been kind Ready of orders. obliterated, Starship and I've only complete. got these Star Drive sections left. Set a course to the nearest repair facility. And no, repairing them does not mean that they get a, Gal a, a saucer section built Armed for them. Ready. I am afraid. Fortunately, I've got my secondary, quite nimble fleet here. Oh, what a disaster! Armed and ready. Bring us into weapons range. I'm going to destroy this star drive section. I don't have the repair ship technology, and it's just technology. costing me at the moment. Confirmed, Starfleet. Right, quickly, Prepare let's get base. mining. Station construction commencing. We're not going anywhere unless we get some resources quickly. Status report. And this is where we try and settle Armed into a nice, eight. normal mission. Standing by. Except my Sovereign-class ships are trying to pretend that they're fish at the moment. I don't know why the game does that. I mean, it's funny, but Station all complete. the uh, officers Station are now splattered against the bulkheads. Enemy Cube. Engaged. Kill it. Starbase isn't bothered. It's like, yeah, they, you go complete. past. That's fine. Starship they can really take a beating, those cubes, can't they? But anyway, our mining operation is now up and running, so hopefully we can get at least some re reformation of the fleet that was just decimated. I think I probably would have been better keeping my Galaxy-class starships whole, but... Hey! I had to do it. People were asking for it. Starship complete. I didn't control it very well, to be fair. Prepare the docking bays. If you, if your uh, saucer sections do manage to survive, which they should do, Unable if you haven't got an idiot in command, 
you can reintegrate them Starship afterwards. Construction commencing. I need to get a better look round, so even though they can't warp, Starship I am going to build some Venture Class ships. I just need to get a look around Starship where I'm going. Complete. This is a mission where you can get bogged down very easily. Fortunately, I kind of know the map, Starship so I know complete. where to look. I'm not Open too it. sure how you're supposed to, uh, just tell me where to go. complete this mission on the first try, really. Um, I suppose you could turtle up hard, but there are certain things that you have to be ready for, and we it's almost impossible to be nebula. ready for them unless you are... Uh, Unless you play through the level a couple of times, which is one well, of the few criticisms I've got. Enemy engaged. I mean, I find this game very enjoyable. To be fair, it's one of the uh, few Star Trek. That's a big fleet heading my way. It's one of the few Star Trek games that I can legitimately Waiting play orders. multiple times. Stay Run across an energy goes. turret here. It's always annoying when they can see you, but you can't Ray see weapons. it. Fortunately, they're targeting the one ship where torpedoes are absolutely useless. So, let's get rid of that energy turret and on. I've got my more mobile fleet currently guarding the uh, thing, and towards the top right of the map here is where I'm going to head. Like I said, it'd probably be impossible for you to know this without uh, playing the level beforehand, but I have played a few times, and this is the best route to take, or at least one of the routes that I think is pretty good to take. Starship um, construction there's going to be commencing. a number of routes that it's possible to take, but this is a pretty good one. Status report. Oi, Enemy get off. Engaged. Starship complete As you can see the intrepid class ships are a lot faster and a lot more swarmy all sections stand by and before you start asking me why the hell I'm doing this number one I need it for the crew and number two I really need it and you will see why later in the in the mission but trust me you need some pretty uh, you can't just leave this defended by a small ragtag fleet, it's not going to work. And plus it's always a good idea to defend your mining facilities and I'm gonna need the crew from three star bases anyway. Unable to comply. And look what I found up here. It's an infinite dilithium moon and this is something that you are uh, really going to need one of. Uh, you can't produce high um, you can't produce high tier ships from your shipyard without having at least two dilithium moons open to you. Uh, you're just going to run out. Uh, it also allows us to build a trading station as well and that's going to be the major source of income for us because there's no latinum in this area of space either so we're really quite resource staffed. I want this starbase fully crewed and I'm going to build a couple of supporting torpedo turrets as well. No, I'm not overdoing it, or at least I don't think I'm overdoing it. Station. This okay. is a mission where you can just randomly lose at certain points. Just going to get my two little dilithium freighters up here so we can get it fully saturated and I think next port of call is probably a trading station. station. A prudent course of action. Get another torpedo turret up here. Just keep the firepower fairly high. Construction commencing. I do want a trading station because with an infinite dilithium moon and only one supply of metal it means that we're probably going to have an overrun at least on dilithium. So the trading station will allow us to substitute some of it for metal. Uh, we are going to need some metal because of the uh, because we need the Vulcan Research Institute to start cranking out sovereign class ships. To be honest, galaxy class ships while powerful probably won't cut it compared to sovereign class ships and we also have a we also have a pretty uh, big need of our largest ships I think I don't think that we can just hang around forever with them and I'm gonna build the trading station up here it's fairly remote 
a prudent and course of action. It's the furthest away, so it will get me the largest amount of latinum. Station is under attack. And here we go, I'm gonna sell some dilithium and buy some metal. Insufficient latinum. And I'm gonna get a second trading station here and try and get the old economy back up. Build it next Enemy to the starbase. I love how the sovereigns, if you put them on high, uh, if you put them on high special weapons uses, will basically put their carbonite reflectors on whenever there's a strong breeze and run them down until their energy's out. Bit annoying, but it is necessary. And for some reason, oh, I remember why. It's because I put the uh, construction ship in with a fleet, and I ordered Confirm the fleet to. Route. Regenerate, and that stopped it from doing its uh, thing. And we've got an attack going on here, and this is what I was afraid of. Station construction commencing. Aha! Uh -huh. Station is under attack. Yeah, as you can probably tell, if you're not prepared for this attack, they are going to waltz ready. all over you. And I tell you what, those torpedoes from that tactical cube are horrible. They're really Enemy big torpedoes, engaged. and they do a lot of damage. Fortunately, the rate of fire of the tactical cube appears to be pretty awful, and or oh, we hit its weapon subsystems, and it didn't manage to get a lot of shots off. Plus, it somehow managed to miss the starbase, so no idea how it did that. But we got away fairly light from that. I have had a starbase on its own in that area without any support fleet, and the starbase was destroyed. So. There are honestly quite a few things that can go badly wrong. Starship construction commencing. Anyway, back to our economy Enemy situation. Engaged. Now that we've All withstood by. that fairly large assault from the Borg there, Station and complete. you probably won't believe me when I say I'm this, ready. there is no Borg base in that direction. That is a, I believe that is a timed attack. It's just those ships will just spawn at a certain point in the map and they will head in that direction. All sections stand by. Because I am pretty sure there is no bug base in that direction. It's certainly not the main base. So Starship. unless they have gone from the main base and sweeped along the entirety of the map, then um, that's just a spawn that's just a random event essentially. But yeah, I would, my fleet was left pretty crippled by that. But then again, that's a price I'm willing Station to pay considering what was attacking me. Yeah, th this doesn't even qualify Enemy as an attack. <laughs> On with the carbonite reflector, even though it does no good. Standing by. Guys, just able. do something about it, would you? Starship complete. I can't get through, my ship is too fat. I thought that Armada 1 was the only one that had these 3D problems. The game's genuinely 3D now. Ugh, at least that's dealt with. And there go the, uh, the remnants of the latest Borg attack. What is your command? Able to comply. Still, let's get these cargo ships dropping off. And that should get us some latinum. Enemy engaged. Yeah, the Borg are now selling sending some pretty uh, They're not the greatest forces latinum. in my direction. And finally I can now build the Starship Vulcan Research company. Station. Considering we're 25 minutes into this video and I've cut on multiple occasions, this is a very, very late Vulcan Research Institute. I'm going to build some Galaxy Class ships just to supplement my fleet. I have the spare um, minerals and metal around, and my crew's very high, so I'm just going to. Uh, Read you. Do what I said I wouldn't do and build some galaxy class Ready ships. And now I've got my 10 cargo Ready ships all now 
pulling latinum for me so I think I've now got the economy that I want and it's just now time to get the fleet built up and then we are going to go borg hunting because that works so well when we do that Yeesh. don't know when Starfleet Command was Ready taken over duty. by a bunch of Order war confirmed. mongers but we will comply Repair ships being useful. Starship. And Galaxy class ships with saucers. I think it's pretty obvious where the Borg base is at the moment. Uh, it's where all the attacks have been coming from. So I'll be heading in that general direction and trying to wipe out as much as possible. I hope the Borg don't come in this direction because if they do, I am totally screwed. Starship complete. Just checking out my Latinum reserves here just to see uh, how much I'm getting per transaction from the cargo ship, and it looks like I get about 125 strips of Latinum per uh, per cargo ship there. So Station that's pretty complete. good. And now finally, the Vulcan research facility is online, and get me research better engines better engines right. and even though sovereigns are a little bit more expensive on metal I do now have the trading station and cargo ships going everywhere who are going to get me quite a bit of latinum so if I ever fall short on um, if I ever fall short on metal I can always buy a bit more and I am going to scrap these two star drive sections. I'm afraid they're not going to be doing me much good. So it's time for me to uh, build a second advanced shipyard. And we've got the economy to support it. So it's time for sovereign spam. And we're going to go Borg hunting. Yep. Insufficient metal, apparently. So, um,. Yes, metal. There metal. you go. Uh, sell some dilithium as well, because dilithium is the one thing that's an infinite resource. And there we go. What metal shortage? I just essentially bought an advanced shipyard. I think that's pretty cool, really. Starship complete. Give the word. And uh, All yeah, stand by. I think we're. That's a much more solid looking fleet. Doesn't have holes in like the last one did. Repair ships again. They're going to be able to keep up with the fleet this time because they're not capable of warping. And let's just build a few more Intrepids just to back up my fleet. Sorry, but I don't want part ships in my fleet. You can go into honourable retirement. Standing by. Alright. There's Fleet Starship 1. Complete. Ready and able. Fortunately, giving them Standing high by. special weapons autonomy doesn't mean that the uh, Galaxy class ships are going to separate whenever they feel like it. Uh, the domain over that is given exclusively Starship to the player. Complete. This is a bit loose what I'm doing. Remember how my first fleet got decimated? Well, what I'm going up against is just as powerful, if not more powerful. And I'm just sending in pretty much the same fleet for the most point, most part. Starship complete. But I do have mega so mega amounts of sovereigns being built as backup here, so. If the first fleet should fall, the Stay second one will come in and finish the job. At least that's my idea Stay of by. what's going to happen. Believe me, it sounded good in my head at the time. Starship construction commencing. Does that advanced shipyard ha have no shields? Yep, backup fleet. Let it never be said that we I didn't go completely over the top when Enemy it came to engaged. handling the Borg. I guess in theory it makes sense. The Borg adapt to things the longer they're exposed to them. So as long as you're capable of destroying them quickly, they can't adapt to anything you're doing. Oh, 
galaxy, doing barrel rolls and sorting it and getting itself into all sorts of trouble as usual. Research. Yeah, Commencing. weapons upgrade. Change I could go for level 3 engines, but before you assault a base, usually you want to have a weapons upgrade of some description. It just makes the uh, whole idea of taking the base down that little Waiting bit orders. more palatable. I'm trying to time it right, but I think I get a little bit impatient here. And, or I just come across the advanced assembly matrix. And this is a hell of a battle that comes up now, so I'm going to let you guys enjoy it. Enemy engaged. We have entered a dangerous nebula. Ready and able. Insufficient officers. Starship construction commencing. Ready and able. Awaiting orders. Starship complete. Enemy engaged. Starship complete. Starship complete. Research complete. Starship complete. Starship complete. Insufficient crew. Reroute all auxiliary power to weapons. Enemy engaged. Standing by. Standing by. Starship construction commencing. Ready weapons. Oh, so you think I Standing lost, by. did you? Well, yes, I did lose. I hope that you noticed when it was on, there was the world worst timed weapons upgrade. Uh, I've heard of the 1-1 one, one push in StarCraft or something similar, when you time your push to exactly coincide with when your weapons upgrade begins. Well, unfortunately, I decided to have my push end exactly when my weapons upgrade came in. This one won't make it either, but at least this time Starship I'm going to have a level 2 upgrade when I attack. To be fair, even though I was beaten there, I did achieve the objective. The Nexus went down and so did most of the weaponry that's going to be able Give to order. stop me. The Borg Away can't orders. produce anything that's going to hurt me now. So, um, let's have Act 2, shall we? Insufficient dilithium. Ready and able. Ready and able. Ready and able. Starship complete. Insufficient crew. Altering course. Yeah, I'm a bit of a sore loser, really. I decided to not even put repair ships in the fleet. I put them in a secondary role. They are there, but I just told them to 
guard the fleet. So this fleet is 16 sovereigns as opposed to, what was the last one, like 8 sovereigns, 6 galaxies and some repair ships. Something like that. Insufficient. But yeah, we were at such a disadvantage in this mission. The Borg had infinite dilithium moon, two planets, and a normal dilithium moon to our nothing at the start of this mission. So unfortunately, we put those reinforcements to good use, and we're just going to wipe out the uh, remaining Borg stations. There aren't that many of them. And then we've only got one small thing left at that point. There's always a resource collector. As long as they've got a resource collector and an assembler, the collective still lives. Oh, they had three Dilithium Moons, did they? If you gave a human being that sort of head start, there's no way that uh, Insufficient crew. a human being would lose from that situation. Enemy engaged. At least one plane anywhere near remotely competently, especially if you get the... Fire especially ready. if that human being also got the tactical cube spawn later on in the mission. Steady as she goes. Well, let's make absolutely sure. Starship complete. Yep, Research my usual complete. timing. There you Research go, we've now got level 3 weapons Standing when we by. don't need it. And I don't even know if that engine upgrade will be ready before the end of the mission. Armed and ready. Anyway, and here's what we have to do. We have to take over the transport portal. Be careful, intrepid. Yeah. We have seized control of the transport portal. And that should do it. See you next time, guys. Excellent. The portal is secure. Inform Starfleet. The system has been cleared of the Borg presence, and the transwarp portal rests safely in our hands. As long as we hold the portal, the passage between the Delta and the Alpha Quadrants is secure. While there were some Borg stations in this system, Starfleet believes that a large concentration of construction facilities exists elsewhere. Several fleets have been dispatched to search the neighboring systems for this Borg staging ground. It is difficult to determine what lies in the darkness beyond this sector's boundaries, but it is clear that our path hereafter is but a test of courage and determination. The journey of a thousand miles must begin with a single step.